and welcome to the British Shooting Show. Um, it's Shooting in Country TV, all the usual suspects, myself, Dave, Mick Garvey, all the others. Uh, it's a big show, crowds are piling in, so let's get in there and have a look. Hello everybody, welcome to a very busy Saturday at the British Shooting Show. You'll be seeing me, Terry Doe, Dave Farham and Matt Manning as we take you around the, around the stands and show you what's uh, caught our interest. Well, I'm here with Tony on the Day State stand and we have got the Alpha Wolf Safari, which looks fantastic. Tony, can you tell us a bit about it? Sure, so we know that we sponsored Delta Wolf in 2020. Yep. Uh, we've added the Alpha Wolf version uh, in July last year and we promised at the time that we would do one not in a red stock. You know, right, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Hunting yeah. Package. yeah. Now, the red one has been really popular, but not everybody hunts in a cherry orchard. So we've uh, changed it to a kind of a brown colour, but this is a little bit more textured. It's a special finish that we do offer on both the Huntsman Safari, yeah. and we've also used it on the BRK. On, you know, on yeah, I mean, I've part. used it myself, and you know, not only does it feel really grippy, but it also it sort of takes that glare and flash out of the, the stock, doesn't Absolutely it? Absolutely right. So we've added that, and then we've added this bronze finish to the action to match it into the gun to give it some sort of effect. It's cosmetic, yep. but it's also yeah. slight camouflage. Yeah, and they, they sit nicely together. Yeah. Okay. Other than that, we've upgraded the valve. So inside the rifle, there's a new Alpha fast flow valve. And what that means on the high power rifle, this is a high power rifle here, right, yeah. is we're getting 15% more power, more energy out of it. So 20% more efficient, 15% more power. Yep. And that valve, the fast flow valve, is retrofitable into Delta Wolf and Alpha Wolf's report. Okay. So the valve can be bought and fitted into the older guns. Okay. And it's a user fit. It's because of the modular design. So straightforward. <coughs> what sort of power levels is it capable of at the top end? So with the 30 caliber, they're now doing around 100 Okay, so pretty serious. Yeah. And also, I suppose that means sub 12 is going to be absolutely singing because it's just it's cruising. Just, yeah, and it's the same chassis, same everything. It's just uh, locked down to 12 foot pounds. Yeah. So you've got that incredible capability. The gun is just effortlessly yeah. cruising. Yeah. And the valve in that gun just gives you more shots. Right. So you've got more efficiency. Yeah. And also straightforward to use. I mean, a lot of people are quite intimidated by the tech on these things, but they're even I can use them. They're designed to be easy. Yeah. Yeah, they, you know, it, I think they're easier to set up than any mechanical gun because you can do it all on the electronics. And changing the calibers, you know, six minutes a caliber change. I think even you've done the caliber. Yeah, even I, even I've done it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and I didn't so, break it. That's right. There we go. So we've got all that going on. It's a lovely gun. It's very popular here. Uh, I'd say, and 105 pounds, by the way, is the most powerful day state we've ever made. Right. So that we topped out with a Wolverine 303 at 100. Yep. Uh, probably realistic, more 96. Uh, and this one's doing a genuine. Okay, so it's quite a significant yeah, step. And electronic as well. So. Brilliant. Great. Can't wait to get hold of one. Thank you. We'll Thanks, sort that Tony. out. <laughs> Cheers. Right, me Gavin from Airgun World and Shoots and Country TV. We're here at the Air Arms stand uh, and we've got the Chimera, which is celebrating 40 years of prestigious airgun production from Air Arms. It's based on the various different guns we've had over the years. In the 100 Cs, the 310, it features various different parts from various different guns, so people buying one will be like blown over by the, the stalls that are oozing from this like superb gun. Right, while we're here at Air Arms, you can't can't not take a look at the S510 tactical. Uh, this is the rifle being used in the, in the shooting series, in the hunting series for Shooting Country TV. I think you all know the thoughts on this fantastic air rifle. It's built based on the S510 uh, tactical. It's got all the shelves uh, and all, all the rails to take all the different attachments, bipods, torches, anything you need to put on there. Plethora of fastening points on it. Fantastic rifle, and as you've seen the videos, it's worked really well. Right, here we are back again on the Highland Outdoor stand. I, I'm here with Paul from Webby and Scott. Uh, we've got the, P, the Nemesis X PCP. You've probably heard me talk about this already. I cannot say enough about it because it's absolutely an awesome gun for the price. I don't think it's going to get much better. I really don't. Anyway, Paul, give us a few words on it. Right, what this is, it's uh, a Nemesis PCP running on a high pressure bottle, high pressure air bottle, through a regulator into what originated as our original Nemesis pistol. And what you've got, you've got a system where you change the ball from right to left, you get a single shot tray, you get a double magazine in the grip, 
and also a large full-size magazine. It comes with all three. You've got this razor mount, so you can put any scalp you want on it. It's threaded half in two and F, and it also comes with a bipod. That's what you've got. It's shooting um, up to legal limit. Uh, you can have it in 17722, um, and that's what it is. It's ideal for rat shooting, a bit of vermin control, um, shooting cans, a bit of target work. So, I, I, I've just had one sent to me, and I, like I said, I was blown away. The lightness of it is unbelievable. It's a, it's, sorry, it's a, it's a ballistic polymer, the same as what the, the Glocks are made from. Yeah. Uh, quality is surprising, yeah? excellent. It's got the, the weaver and the picketing rails all the way around. And like Paul says, this is what he's described, it's perfect use for it's exactly what I'm use it for. A bit of ratting, feral pigeons, I'm going to stick a thermal scope on top, uh, and you'll soon be able to read about this in Ergon World, because I don't think I'll be able to put this going down. It's an amazing gun. It's very tactile. It is. I, I love a tactile rifle. People know that. It's, it's tactile as distinct from tactile. Well, yeah, yeah, I suppose so, but like this. But, yep, yeah, awesome gun. Paul, thanks for your time. Right. Sportsman Gun Centre. I cannot tell you how excited I am about being here today. The new Pantera's out, obviously got the array of Mavericks, but the one thing that's caught my eye this weekend is the Pantera Hunter. Uh, Ali, this is your hand. Yep. Good friend, your hand. Uh, tell them all about it. Tell me. <laughs> yeah, so this is the new Pantera Hunter Compact. Uh, we removed the arc rail up front of the Panfera and we moved the bottle up front instead. This is just to keep the gun extra lightweight. Uh, it's fully ambidextrous, so you can move the sheet piece left hand, right hand, you can move the cockle lever right hand, left hand, so you can make your own rifle exactly how you want it. Some people want to have the cocking lever on the, on the left hand side, so you don't have to remove your hand from the trigger to get the extra quick follow up shot. Yep, um, it's a super lightweight gun to carry around, it weighs like next to nothing. It certainly does, it certainly does. And it's, it's FX, so you know it's going to be good, you know it's going to be the business. As you can see, uh, twin gauges. Decent, what size mag is it? Uh, so it's the same as Crown and Dreamline, so it's about uh, 18 shots per magazine. Right, okay. And what calibers are we doing it in? Uh, this one will be in 17722 in that length. Okay. In about uh, sub 12 foot pound, we'll get about 200 to 300 shots per fill. Yeah, so more than enough when they're hunting. Uh, I think I'll be looking at uh, two, two and a half feet. Yeah. And then, because uh, and, and also we can put an extra bottle. You can move the bottle back to front, like Johan says. You can also have a yes, you can have a double bottle as well. Two at the same time. Stuff, yeah. Which gives you an excellent shot count. And you're both saying about 60 from that bottle. Yeah. And then so with two bottles on, you're talking 100, 100 yeah. plus 120. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, That's amazing. a good little gun. Absolutely. Yeah, that's, that's screaming for my dunk of Yeah, it's a nice dunk of Appreciate that. Of course. Thank you. And we'll, uh, we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thank you. Uh, cheers, mate. Thank you. Right, Sportsman Gun Centre again. Uh, same amount of excitement here as it was in the Pantera. I'm here with Donny, Yolanda and Dwayne. Uh, tell us about the new stuff you've got coming. I know there's lots of exciting stuff. Yeah, we got a lot of new, uh, new stuff coming, especially for FX's new gun, the Pantera. And this is our latest rail, actually in prototype, but we should be in production very soon. Yep. And they know talk about this one. You know. Yeah, basically what it is is the Panthera rail that came originally. I'll yeah. pop over here for real quick. Uh, it's about a half pound, right? This is 3.4 pounds. It's wider, it's taller, it's more robust. It's got brass weights in the inside and right here on a cover plate. This gets removed so you can add a bottle up front if you want as well. But it's just a more robust way to balance out the rifle when you're shooting PRS. So, so something just new sits it down with. nice and steady. It does, yeah. You set the rifle down, it just sits. So um, really, really cool design we've come out with. This is the first anybody's seeing of it is at this show. So and, and pretty, pretty bilingue as well. Yeah. Yeah, they call it Gucci here, <laughs> right? Gucci, Gucci, yeah. Gucci rail. It also has, you know, some guys, even though it weighs three, three and a half pounds, mm -hmm. they want to add more weight, so we have the M-lock here, and yeah. then we also sell, like, the um, weights, additional weights that you can add on there. All the attachments, you can put the, the additional weights, if you need more weight, also any other sort of attachment, the bipods, 
just us on the side. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Perfect. All, all sorts. Yeah. And then for Donnie FL, this year we're going to be concentrating a lot on the quick disconnect uh, suppressors. And for guys who already have our stuff like the sumos, tattoos, uh, we're going to make an end cap that they can just swap out and then yeah, make idea. it quick yeah. disconnect. You know, uh, one of the things that people are concerned with when they remove their suppressor is the point of impact change, like after they put it back on again because of the indexing. So the quick disconnect will always index to the same location, so it minimizes any point of impact. Right. I also like the idea we can index. Well, I, I also find I'm having to mess about these, getting the fat boy or the sign up in yeah, shot, yeah. screen right way up, taking apart, turning around the way. Yeah. But yeah, it's awesome stuff. So there we are. I mean, there's lots of other things coming. As you can see, there's all the rails here. There's different silences. The fat boy is coming too. Yeah. There's all, all sorts of rails coming out. There's, there's the uh, universal rail that's available that fits most of the FXs, which clamps in the existing yeah. uh, Pickerton rail on the bottom. Just awesome stuff from, from, yeah. from Donny FL and from Savvy Tactical. Yep. So we also started uh, started working on different grips as well. So same, skel uh, yeah, skeletonized, yeah. like uh, AR grips. Yep. Um, and then we also, next week, we're coming out with the vertical grip that's with the thumb rest for right. competition shooters. Competition, yeah. 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 Awesome. Awesome. So we're expanding. All the time. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Excellent stuff. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad this took the time to talk to me. Yeah. I'm really enjoy seeing you guys. We've been, I've seen each other now for must be five years yeah. since since the first shot show. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's always a pleasure, then. Thank you. It's my favourite guys at the show. Right, so I'm with David Bontoft of Whole Cartridge, and that's obviously Virax UK distributor. Now we've got a really special gun, obviously the HW35. It is quite an iconic air gun. This is the 35E, but as you can see, it's a golden gun. David, can you tell us a bit of the story behind it? Well. We became the importer and the distributor for Virar back in the late 1970s uh, and we put Virar on the map here in the UK. At the time, Mr Virar Senior had a very, very nice way of thanking us by sending us gold-plated uh, Virar air rifles. And this one is my uncle's gun and as you can see it's got his name on it. So my father, um, my uncle Ken, and sales director Hugh Clark were presented with these guns in 1981. Uh, we also have HW80s and HW77s. As those new models came out, the Virar were very, very um, benevolent to us and they gave these amazing guns, which we've kept and from time to time we bring out. I was going to say, have they ever had any pellets put through them? Uh, no, this one hasn't. Okay. No. So, so you wouldn't, that would be sacrilege? Uh, well, do you want to fire a, the gun on the range? Is that what you're saying? Or? Maybe we should. It's up to you, yeah. Maybe we should. Sure. I'm not too sure. These obviously have the leather uh, washer in them. Right. So perhaps, I'm not, perhaps I, should, perhaps I yeah, should leave it alone. Maybe this <laughs> time we're maybe, uh, yeah, maybe not. I mean, yeah. it, um, it is wax leather, yeah. but it's quite an old gun, yeah. so maybe we'll leave it alone. No, I, I don't want yeah. to, uh, to wreck <laughs> such a special air gun. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Right, here we are at Hull Cartridge in Viral. I'm here with Chris, Chris Orner. Hi guys. Uh, you want to have a look at this, don't you? I certainly do, sorry. I'll play. Yeah, yeah, it's the HW100 laminate, adjustable, cheap piece from all stock. But Chris, this is the Tell sort us. of new update. So, obviously, you've had that 110 for a while. Yes. We've just managed to get it back off, yeah? Squeezed it out of my fingers, I can So, see. this is the 100, which you want to borrow a neck stab, sort of paired on the grapevine. So, in 2020 we updated to put a weaver rail on which is removable yep. and the biathlon style side lever yep. just to sort of keep improving the product. So we've now got this lovely new laminate stock, we've been doing the same laminate colour for quite a while. Now it's push button adjustability, so those of you obviously big fans of night vision like you are. Yeah, we need the thermal, you've got an adjustable comb here at the touch of a button literally. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a nicely scalloped end yep. here when you're on the bag, if you're bench resting. And also, it does have an adjustable butt pad as well. Oh, that's great. So, all the changes are coming through rapidly. We're really chuffed with the push button. It does add a lot more adjustability and finite movement. So it's gonna be a real nice oh, It makes button. a big difference. Yeah. As, as we know, but yeah. And obviously, 
German technology, German reliability. You've got it. And the accuracy, I mean, uh, as, as we know. that group you shot with the one ten and sent me was absolutely immense. So yeah. the one hundred K plus. The same level of accuracy. There's, there's certain things you know in life, there's certain things you know in shooting life, and like, you know, the fact of my life. Accuracy. Accuracy is probably unbeatable. And like, you can, the quality oozes out of it, you can feel it. It's just, the trigger on these as well is sublime. And like, all comes together in one package. I know it's been out a long time, like 20 years this year, the 100's been out. But that just proves how popular it is, how good it is. Te try and test it. Yeah, you can't buy Mark 314 anymore. No, you can't. <laughs> you won't be able to try the Fiesta much longer. Yeah, probably not. They've killed them off, I think. Yeah. So there you go. Well, I love it that way. Buy it all, HW100 laminate. Adjustable stock, thumb all stock. Superb bit of stuff. Yeah, I'm looking for the kit. Alright, Chris, cheers, thanks for that. Appreciate it, mate. Catch you later. We're on the BSA stand. There's a ton of stuff to see. Personally, Dave and I have been using the, uh, the new R12s. Performed really well for us, but here's an interesting thing. It's caught my eye. This is the Scorpion TS. Now, I'm not entirely sure what TS stands for, and the boys are too busy for me to grab them, but we've got an extended cylinder, that's for sure. That means more shots, over 200, I'm told. Fully floating barrel, threaded for a silencer. But I wonder if, I don't know, TS might be target something or other, I don't know. But this is certainly more firepower. This is what this is about. If you, if you sort of go down here to the, to the Ultra, you'll see the difference in the size of the reservoir. So this is a higher capacity Scorpion and above it is the uh, R12 CLX and the Defier. Dave and I were using these to shoot squirrels recently. Ultra freezing cold, they literally frost on the gun. And one of the most important things is I took, in minus two, I took my CLX out of its case. I didn't put a clearing shot through it, which I would normally do because the squirrels were so jumpy, we couldn't risk even one shot. So from being absolutely frozen to the next shot we had was two hours later at 45 yards, headshot, perfect. And people who, who haven't been around it um, very long would not understand how important that is. From absolutely stone cold frozen to pinpoint accuracy in one shot. And that means all the lubes are working well, all the components fit well. It tells a greater story than you could possibly imagine. So I've just popped on to the Edgar Brothers stand, who have just started importing air, uh, air gun technology rifles. Yes, AGT. Yeah, AGT. <laughs> um, and this is the new kid on the block, uh, the Vulcan 3. And we don't actually know an awful lot about it here in the UK at the moment, because uh, you're still doing the preliminary yes. testing, aren't you? Yeah, so we're still doing a full shot count test. The, the delivery of all of our AGTs was literally the week build up to the show. Uh, right. So we've, we've got them here as quick as we can. Can. Uh, we actually have our team back at base right now making the first delivery of guns ready to be delivered to shops as soon as possible. Superb, yeah, so they're, they're doing the shot count and the testing and everything on the sub 12 models because obviously, yeah. FAC <laughs> over the pond <laughs> mostly. So, yeah, so we will be reviewing one of these in the magazine at some point in the very near future. Um, so, yeah, so keep your eyes out for that. But, yeah, that's uh, hot news at the moment. It is fully ambidextrous, yeah. so the handle can be moved both sides. The safety is internal to the trigger mech, so again, yeah, yeah. um, it is the 480cc bottles. Yeah, they're nice bottles, aren't they? Um, yeah, so obviously with a bar capacity up to 300 as well, Excellent. so it's a thingy to available in the 500mm barrel. Or what's proving to really catch interest at this particular show is the 700mm barrel. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're getting a lot of interest in regards to slugs. Right. With the 700 yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we we uh, we're really excited for it. There's some significant upgrades over the Vulcan 2. So this one has a 20 MOA rail and a lot more things going on within the regulator. Right. To allow for a more consistent shot. Yeah, yeah. So available in Woodstock and uh, Wood synthetic. And it's, it's a composite. All oh, right. So it's a bit more substantial than synthetic. Yeah, yeah. So it's, a, it's a really nice, really nice combination. Awesome. Yeah. We'll, we'll be reviewing one of those soon. <laughs> I'm on the Highland Outdoor stand with Marcus from Diana and we've got here the XR200 recharge pneumatic. It's got some different stuff in it. For a start, how good an idea is that to have the pressure gauge visible from the, from the shooting position? 
It's a brilliant idea. Also, this one has got a device there that you can set the trigger so you can dry fire it without actually having to shoot it, which is another, another great little feature. And I will say, having messed around with this trigger, it's one of the best I've ever used already. Now, this has got a fairly extended cylinder. How many shots do you reckon, Mark, is it 12 foot pounds, do you know? Uh, in 177 it is about uh, 90 shots, and in uh, 22 it is about 50, 55 yards. Brilliant. All the other way around? Sorry? All the other way around? Yeah. <laughs> Side lever. It's uh, fully regulated. Uh, yes, it is regulated. Fully with regulated. Alteras regulator inside. Obviously adjustable. Everything can be swapped round. You can put these adjusters on this side if you wish, and you can swap this around. How long will it take to swap it around? Just five minutes. It can be done in the shop. So uh, it's it's sleek. It's elegant. You got um, what you got? Uh, this stock and did you have? Did you say you had another? It didn't. Yes, I think uh, mid of this year, so about June or July, we will also have it available with a wooden stock design. And the magazine system will be. Yes, we have um, uh, rotary magazines and we have a twin shot tray. A twin shot, that's, that's interesting, not a single shot tray, you've got a twin shot tray with this one. And what do we, do we know anything about a retail price for this? Uh, this synthetic stock version will be about a thousand pound. Yeah, it's lightweight, it's pointable, I'm, you've got to like it, you've got to like the, the look of it, the feel of it. I think uh, you could be on, on for a winner, Marcus. Thank you very much. Well, we're on the shooting party stand with Mike Herney. Um, I've just reviewed this, haven't I, in you the have March issue of Air Gun World, the JTS Aerocuda Max. You may have heard of it. It's uh, been splashed all over social media, and uh, with very good reason too. It's an absolutely lovely rifle. Um, what is it, 550 quid? Uh, yeah, that's sort of that's around sort of there. Nice. Um, JTS, American company. Um, they've got more rifles coming out, I believe. I did see a little hint of a ballpup Correct. that was launched at the SHOT Show, so are you going to be getting those over? We are, yeah. Excellent. <coughs> We've worked with uh, JTS for 10 or 12 years, they've produced a number of guns for us. Yeah. We asked them to do a side lever gun, uh, maybe two and a half, three years ago. They um, developed it initially for the American market, Yeah. but what we said was, our experience of taking a high power American gun and just scaling, just scaling it, it down wasn't always as successful as it might be. Right. So we had the uh, uh, the regulator redesigned for a sub 12 pound market yeah. and a new valve system. So we work quite closely to. Brilliant. So that's some, some proper R and D gone into yes. this for the UK market. I mean, let's just run through it quickly. Like I say, it's a side lever. Um, two engages there, obviously. One's a fill, fill gauge, that one's the reg pressure. Um, this stock, I have to say, is really nice. It's, it's almost like a satin finish. Uh, European beach, is it? Yes, it is. Yep. Obviously, adjustable cheek piece, uh, completely ambidextrous. Just a really nice bit of kit, and what I like about it is there's no bits of plastic on it. It's all, it's all uh, metal, all the components are metal. Um, Particularly the magazine, which most yeah. people hate plastic magazines. Yeah, but all metal mags, and they are really, really nice. I was very impressed. That's one of the things that really sort of grabbed my attention when I first got the rifle out of the box was the mags. Um, if you're looking to get yourself a nice PCP, then this Aerocuda Max has definitely got to be on your list. 